no wig, like a full lace wig, because a full lace wig don't stop. <laughs> that was kind of corny, but today I'm going to be rocking a wig from a brand by the name of Wig Only. Quality Wigs Only is their slogan, and of course they have a beautiful, really nice quality um, box here with a little faux alligator, or whatever you want to call that. Um, inside, you're going to have your, of course, your wig, but underneath that you also have wig caps. You can't have enough of these. So I'll throw that right in my stash. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and save this box. Really, 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 really nice box. Like this is one of the ones you can actually use to like restore your receipts and you know your little love letters if you're in high school from your little boo things. Ww.wig only is their website, so make sure you check them out. I do have a link in the description bar. But this here is the wig. They sent over a beautiful full lace wig. I actually have not checked it out. Um or opened it up well actually yes I did I am lying to you guys but this is her here I've had the opportunity to open it up and check it out um now what I really really wanted to do for you guys was a bless you now what I really wanted to do for you guys is I wanted to do box braids with this full lace wig which is why I requested a full lace wig but I'm not gonna lie I chicken out I'm just really really scared like I feel like I'm going to do the box braids on the mannequin head and then when I put it on it's going to buckle or something crazy. So I'm going to have to find a tutorial on how to do that process because I really really want to do that. I actually bought the hair already to assemble the box braids. Um, but anyways, if you open up the cap, again this is a full lace wig. If, if ever you've had a full lace wig or you're inquiring about one, this is kind of generally the construction you'll get. You'll see the lace up here. It'll look like you know like tracks or something right here and then you have lace in the back this in the center is also lace it just has like um a piece that's not lace under it or over it however you want to say it that way they can um you know it's not gonna like tear apart and all that it kind of helps it to be a little bit more sturdy um to my understanding the actual hair is over beautiful um only thing about it is like i said i hate to have a sneak peek at hair when i first get it because when i put it back in the box and take it out like a week later um it kind of doesn't look as flawless as it does when you literally first take it out of you know the little um you know the net and then the white stuff and that kind of keeps it so that as soon as you open it it looks dumb flawless and because I took that out like last week and I did try it on um, it's a little bit more fluffier than what it came so what I really want to do for you guys I want to do a half up half down with a bang can I do that for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this in tutorial go ahead and follow along because the speed through talk through starts now so today I'm rocking this full lace wig. I'm going to start by adjusting the strap super tight and then cutting off all of the lace in the front. If you need to put your wig onto a mannequin head, do not cut the front off until like you're completely done having to put it on a mannequin head. If you're going to need to use those T-pins to prop it up because you will put a hole in, hole in your lace. I left a little bit um, just in case I did and then I also left some or I took all of it off in the back. Now I'm just trying it on for size to see what needs to be done, what I want to do. This wig is advertised as pre-plucked and as you can see it came with some nice baby hair. But you can feel free to go ahead and pluck some more. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace off on my head. Um, I don't know why I like doing this. You can cut it all off holding but I like to cut it down for some reason and then like cut it on my head. And the reason is because I don't want it to be straight across. When you cut it super blunt and straight across you can always see that line of demarcation. Whereas if you kind of zigzag it and not really make it look like a two year old cut it but just sort of not so straight. Kind of helps to camouflage that line of demarcation. Now this is a little bit of a close up and how I told you guys it's pre-plucked but definitely will need some more work. So I took the wig off and added an adjustable strap. Now we're back on and it fits perfectly. Um, this is like the next day. I thought I was cute in this other wig. But um, yeah, this is the packaging if I did not mention before. I went ahead and bleached the knots. I was pleasantly surprised. I allowed it to air dry after I bleached the knots and conditioned. And it looks really, really, really good. It's like a really, really nice wavy texture naturally. I'm kind of showing you the knots, but I couldn't really do it without putting it on a mannequin head. So I'll just show you what it looks like on my head. Now because I added that elastic band, it fits super tight. Exactly what I needed. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what this parting looks like. Now this blends amazing with my scalp. I kind of slowed it down so you guys can see. 
I decided to kind of bond it down a little bit with a little bit of my got to be glued blast free spray this is just going to help to keep it in place and make it look a little bit more natural some people say this helps to make it melt into your skin and exactly what it looks and feels like once you know you've bonded your wig down you kind of it looks like it's growing out of your scalp now you guys can see better once it's bonded how well it melts into your skin literally um, but it definitely needs to be tweezed some more now I cut off the ear tabs just because I was not interested today. Whenever you have ear tabs, you kind of have to, um, you know, have something there to bond it down because it just kind of leaves that flap. And sometimes you don't want that. So I'm going to make faux um, sideburns without the ear tabs this time. I have a bad habit of doing the baby hair first. It kind of acts like a guide and helps me to see, you know, see the vision. Sometimes you can't see the vision without the hair, the hairline being right, um, which is why I do this. But when you do your baby hair first, it pretty much puts you in a position where in the end you might have to redo it, especially if the style um, requires a lot of manipulation. In this case, I definitely could have tweezed out the baby hair first, and that's what I should have done. But because it was already styled, I kind of just left it as is. I also I forgot to add my powder um the hairline um or i pretty much bleached knots on the whole wig but it did look amazingly natural but whenever you have baby hair that is too thick you can kind of add that powder and it kind of helps to make it look a little bit more flawless and not so thick if that makes any sense just a little trick so now that baby hair is done i'm gonna add tons and tons and tons of foam i finally got a new one that does not um act watery i've been using that paul mitchell one for forever and you guys know it was super liquidy so it would just run everywhere all over my face this one is still obviously you know a liquid but it's a foam liquid that kind of sticks where you want it um and i'm just using this to sort of mold the hairline and as you can see i over bleached my knots um i really 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 love this wig i was so mad at myself it is a full lace wig and i did bleach the whole thing but i forgot i forgot about it i fell asleep and i forgot i was bleaching and that's what happens you get the over bleaching where it starts to you know process and run through the wig but the most important part which is the center and like where I actually need to part you see that oh no I'm so mad I did that to myself I'm so mad make sure that whenever you're bleaching your knots you always always set a timer on your phone nine times out of ten your phone is right there with you so you will not forget and mess up like I did but I did decide to go ahead and um tweeze out a little bit now I did a lot of tweezing and as you can see it still is um or you will see in a minute that it still needs a little bit more work. Tweezing definitely takes hard work and dedication. It definitely takes patience um, that I don't necessarily always have. Which is why I did some but I didn't do a whole lot. And you kind of just want to tweeze. Kind of skip a little space. Tweeze, skip a space, tweeze, skip a space. And go all the way around. Kind of pull out the hair or brush it. And then kind of start over until you get that gradient effect that, effect that you um, want. But again, hard work and dedication. Like right above the ear tabs is really my weakness and like where I always um, fail to make it look natural. So yeah, that's what I have to work on all summer 2018. Getting that flawless lace experience. So I'm going to do a little bit more work a little bit later, but in the meantime, in between time, make sure that whenever you tweeze, especially when you tweeze going the opposite way, that you go ahead and comb or brush the hair out because some of that hair ends up being in like the rest of the hair. And then you'll find like, why is it shedding? And it's not really that it's shedding, it's that you tweezed hair and you didn't like get the hair out of the hair, if that makes any sense. But I'm going to start the process of forming my ponytail. And yeah, I did not know how much hair I wanted. I really wanted the bun to be super duper big. I almost wanted to do like a whole bun with all of the hair, but it is a whole nother beast in itself to make a wig or a bun, um, you know, with a whole wig and like make it look natural in the back. So I decided this is an easy way to not have to do all of that. Um, this time around, like, I made it super big and it was perfect. But as you can see, if I make it that big, there's only, like, a little, little, little bit of hair in the back. It's going to almost be like a mullet, like, just a little bit of hair in the back. So I did put a little bit of that hair back. I still felt like it was, um... Not thin, but I just definitely would have wanted it to be a much fuller in the back um, after the process. So a way to combat that is to go ahead and make even less hair. My arm was hurting, guys. Um, 
do less hair and then put it in the ponytail and then take an old bundle and just wrap it around so that the ponytail is still full but the back is also full. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my time and just form the ponytail to be as smooth and flawless. I'm going back and forth between water and mousse to kind of just form it and as you guys can see it came out super flawless but close up it was kind of buckled if you guys can see like under the ponytail. Now this looks super cute. If you guys want to do half up half down this looks extremely cute but I could not get over that buckling right there. So I went ahead and tried for a second time and it popped. <laughs> so frustrating trying to make a simple ponytail. So I did it here with another elastic and I'm going to go ahead and form the um, ponytail. Make sure that the hair is like moistened or you add a moisturizer because you kind of want it to be like super shiny. And this looks really, really cute. But I'm still not done. Because I used that little elastic, it's going to move and not feel secure. So I went ahead and got an ouchless headband. Um, and there are a little bit of flyaways in the back in between um, where the parting of the ponytail and um, the hair that ha lays down is. You can't really see it this far away, but there is like flyaway hair that's like super short. So I went ahead and used my mousse, or not mousse, but my, um, what do you call that thing, like wax stick. And that one's by Care Care, and I just use that, and that kind of helps to lay the hair down and get rid of any flyaways. And just keep brushing, 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 brushing to get it as smooth and flawless as possible. Sometimes you'll work on this forever. Literally, this is my first time doing the same ponytail. And I guarantee if I was, like, not on camera, I would have got it right the first time. But this looks amazing. If you want to stop here, this is an amazing look. Right there, I'm going to go ahead and tweeze off camera, um, like where the sideburns are, like that parting right there, because it kind of looks a little bit thick. You guys see that right there. That needs to be tweezed. And I'm, gonna definitely, I'm definitely going to do that off camera. I don't think I showed that part. And then you just wrap it around the base. You continue to wrap around the base, and it kind of will make the donut go, donut go higher and higher and higher, if that makes any sense. So just wrap closest to the base as possible and it just goes up and up and up and up to get that high bun if you don't want the high bun you can definitely just wrap it as you normally would but I wanted the super high tall donut looking bun because I'm going to use these beautiful things these I got from Amazon I'll have them linked directly below you can get them in the super like bright fun baby almost pastel looking colors or you can also get them like the primary colors i'll have both sets linked down below and i'm just going to take random colors i'm going to take like one of each and just pin it through now i'm pinning it through so that it kind of like goes in between the hair and then i'm going to start pinning them or yeah pinning them like to where they just like on top and that kind of looked cheesy so i ended up fixing them but basically just continue to put them until um you know, it looks right to you. Like, you see how I put that through up top and it just, it doesn't go through the hair. It just, like, looks like it's just sitting on top. No. No. Let's fix that in a minute, boo. And there goes my son. My kids are never far when I'm filming, so you probably almost, or hear them in almost every one of my videos making a cameo. But, hashtag mom life. If you're a mom and you, like, your kids are always right there. Leave it in the comments. Hashtag mom life. I'm going to take a little bit more of that wax stick and just kind of lay down the top. Kind of a lazy way of um, preparing the bottom. On camera, the hair does look like I can just stop here and it looks really good. But um, in person, it just feels like the hair needed to be finished. Um, I could have just went bone straight. I could have added curls or I could have just added like a mousse um, and a leave-in or something like that to make it, um, you know, like wavy. But I just went with the curls. Um, I'm using this wand curler that I got from Amazon and I think it has three or four different barrels. Um, this is my first time using it and it, it's it's doing the job. I think it goes up to like 450 or 410. Um, I think it's 410. So yeah, it passed the test. Leave it on for about 15 seconds and I curled them away from my hair. I did three on each side and this is the difference. You guys can see it just looks a little bit more done and polished. Um, the serum that I'm using is the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. I just put some on the entire section and then like subsection it into three different sections to do my um, wand curls away from my hair. So this is section two away from my face and section three or actually I did four sections to make sure that the wand curls were good but the other side I think I did three sections also the kind of the top or the base of the hair that's laying I could have went ahead and straightened it out too I just again wanted to look a little bit more finished than what it was before 
And yeah, it was a super simple, cute little look. I'm gonna go ahead and redo the baby hair. Whenever you do baby hair, like with got to be glue gel, you sometimes find that it gets hard, um, which I don't mind. I actually like that so that my baby hair does not move throughout the day. But you will find if you try to redo it, and uh, it won't work. So just add a little bit of water to your brush or a mousse, and it kind of helps it to move to reform it. And that's pretty much it. Went ahead and fixed those bobby pins I told you I wasn't feeling. And yeah, let's talk about it, girls. Okay, so hopefully that was self-explanatory. I kind of have the camera propped in a weird angle. It's like higher than normal because I want to get the full bun in frame. So this is the bun. This is like a cash doll inspired bun. And I show you exactly how to make it come up high and kind of like a little donut. And then I have these cute little jewels in it. These are actually real life bobby pins. I had them in a nice slew of colors and I got them from Amazon. So I'll definitely have these linked down below. They're definitely a statement piece and I absolutely love them. If you don't want to do a bun like this, you guys know it's trendy to kind of like do like the side part or a center part and like slick one side down or even both sides and just put a bunch of bobby pins like right above the ear. These would be So I think it came out cute. I can definitely say I wish it was a little bit thicker as far as the back goes. And that's just based on the style that I chose. I really wanted a lot of the hair to be. So if I would have done less, like usually when I do a top nut button, I'll do less hair. I kind of took advantage of the fact that this was a top, or a top nut. And that is a full lace wig and kind of made, um, I added more hair than I normally would. So I probably would have been better off just making the entire thing into a bun i just wasn't up for the challenge of making the back look natural and realistic today if you're not really good at making your hair look good in like a bun or a ponytail the trick is to kind of make sure that you can leave some hair down you can also like do less like part a little bit back so that way you can leave more hair hanging um and then add a bundle but for a more dramatic effect it definitely would look cute if it was like bigger and higher but this is definitely a little bit or a lot bit more realistic all in all, I think it came out really, really, really cute. I just added like three worn curls to each side of this and that was like an hour or two ago so they dropped and fell. A great way to um, pre preserve this style overnight is just to twist these in the direction that you curled them. So I curled them backwards away from my face and kind of just do really tight buns similar to this but just a really tight bun here and here. That way when you let it out in the morning, it kind of will... Um, help to hold and mold the curl that is already there but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial don't forget to check the link so that you can purchase your little clips because these are going to be so popping this summer all the bright little color clips all in your hair all in your kids hair and all that stuff also don't forget to check out wig only i have a link to the wig in the description bar oh and the size cap is petite and it fits really 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 good so if you're looking for the size or want to know what size to get I always get petite. My head is like a 21 inch if that helps for reference. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. And then guess what? I'll see you in the next one.